Hello, and welcome to This Month in Data Doc, where we'll update you on our latest features, product announcements, events, and more. This episode, we're spotlighting dynamic instrumentation, which empowers you to add logs, metrics, and more directly to your apps in real time and without the need for code changes or app restarts. We'll also be covering a no-code solution to inspect log events as they travel through pipelines, a new topology map for network device monitoring, and the Datadog VS Code integration, which now supports static analysis scans. But before we get to those, we want to shout out another video series from the folks here at Datadog. Datadog On features in-depth conversations with the engineers who build and scale our platform. Each episode explores the real-world experiences of architecting, operating, and monitoring modern systems, and offers actionable insights that you can apply at your organization. Past episodes cover everything from AWS identity management to scaling Kubernetes, caching, and so much more. And new episodes are on the way, so be sure to check out Datadog On. We'll include a link to the series in our show notes. And now, on with the show. Kicking things off is the Datadog Log Pipeline Scanner, which is now generally available. When tech stacks expand with new infrastructure and services, teams encounter increasingly complex requirements for log processing. And when siloed teams independently create new pipelines, there's the possibility for logs to become modified by conflicting rules. Our Log Pipeline Scanner is a no-code solution that offers real-time inspection of log events as they travel through pipelines and processing rules. With the Pipeline Scanner, teams can trace log processing flows to discover, diagnose, and remediate issues, ensure their organizations meet security and compliance requirements, and remove those conflicting rules. And that's just a sample of what this new feature can do. The Log Pipeline Scanner is available for all log management customers starting today. Next up is our network device topology map. Today's modern enterprise networks are made up of thousands of connected devices. When network issues appear, engineers need visibility into these many relationships so they can trace the source and impact of the poor performance. That's where Network Device Topology Map comes into play. Instead of going one by one across each and every device to locate a failure, the map provides a big picture summary of your network so you're better able to find the source of an issue and begin troubleshooting. With the topology map, you can also easily pivot to NetFlow monitoring, pull up a device's details and connected interfaces, and pivot to the main network device monitoring page to get even more information about the device. The network device topology map is currently available in public beta. And finally, we're excited to share that the Datadog VS Code integration now supports static analysis scans. Committing changes only to discover problems with your code not only burns time, but can also introduce new issues that require even more resources to address. As you code, the Datadog extension runs static analysis rules on the source files in your VS Code workspace and highlights problems such as maintainability issues, bugs, or security vulnerabilities so you can address problems before committing those changes. And depending on the issue, static analysis suggests fixes that you can apply with just a single click. You can check out Datadog static analysis or our VS Code extension by visiting the Visual Studio Marketplace today. That was just a sneak peek of the many features we released this month. For a full list, visit the link shown. This month in the spotlight, we have product manager Evgeny will tell you more about dynamic instrumentation. Hi, I'm Evgeny Vachnovetsky. I'm a product manager at Datadog. Observability is all about reducing the time to resolution of your issues, but real world challenges arise that are difficult to solve with existing data points that are emitted by metrics, logs, and traces that are defined during development time. Sometimes you don't even own the code, but are still responsible for the operational excellence. Thus, we have built Dynamic Instrumentation, a game changer for maintaining the performance and health of your applications. It empowers your team to seamlessly add or modify telemetry data in real time without disrupting your life systems, providing instant actionable insights, all with minimal overhead. Whether you're deploying new features or simply maintaining existing ones, 
the Navic instrumentation equips you with the flexibility to understand and fine-tune your applications on the fly. Observability signals can be added across all observability pillars, namely logs, metrics, and spans on the fly without restarts. Simply select the type of telemetry you want to add and the target service. For advanced troubleshooting use cases, you can also target specific environments and versions or a dedicated pod or host. Let me demonstrate the interactivity by changing an existing log from the UI. I simply need to select the dynamic log and edit it to have the new desired content. After we save, we see that the old data is invalidated immediately. And just a couple seconds later, we see the new variable that we needed. Dynamic instrumentation is now generally available with support for three runtimes, Java, .NET, and Python. These include the ability to set up logs, spans, and metrics from the Datadog UI as part of our APM suite at no additional cost. You can find dynamic instrumentation under the main APM navigation within your Datadog app. Thanks, Evgeny. That wraps up today's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next month.